Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and we're about to embark on another epic, incredible vintage thrift store toy hunt adventure. Yes, I have been on a little bit of a roll lately finding some awesome vintage toys, and today's episode is no different. It is Five Thrift Store Friday! Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week, and I scored some awesome scores today. Some awesome thrift store finds. These vintage toys are toys that are near and dear to my heart. I have a collection of them already and I found something really, really cool. A rather large figure, like probably around 18 inches tall and he's got 64 points of articulation and it is awesome. Let's get this show on the road. Let's keep our fingers crossed and pray. Pray, pray, pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, ground zero. Let's see what we can find in here today. Oh, look, it's the Arrow ATV. Oh, no, that says G.I. Joe on it. No, that's the Arrow ATV from Final Faction, I think, but it's got a G.I. Joe sticker on it. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? It looks like we got a Mario. No, it's not a Mario. I thought that was Mario's pirate ship, but that is just like a Peter Pan Captain Hook thing or something. Oh, what's under here? Anything under there? No, just a bunch of junk. And of course we have our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It looks like somebody did like a custom job on him. It's got some shading on him. And what's this thing? Helicopter. Sky Devils. And we got a battleship down here. Ah, uh, someone put a G.I. Joe sticker on this, and I believe this goes to Predator or Alien or something like that. Ooh, look at this uh, build a saber. Oh, we got a gnarly looking T Rex here. That's a nice one. Oh, look, here's another one that someone put a Joe sticker on. Oh yeah, look at all this. They turned all these little, like, cheapy vehicles into G.I. Joe vehicles by putting stickers on them. And here's another T-Rex. I got two of these guys. Look at those. Those are awesome. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's got the stand and everything. And then we've got an M&M &M playing soccer. Now, we haven't found anything in these bags in months, but you know, it's always worth looking, so let's get the rummaging. There's a Spider Man. Oh, there's a few Spider Men in there, a couple at least, and then we got this dude. And let's see. Shang Chi, and I don't know who this dude is. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. Maybe you guys can comment below and let me know. There's one that's got a Spider-Man in it. And some other figures. And I don't know what these are. They look like game pieces or something. And there's a Venom and I don't know who that is either. Oh, look at that Spider-Man. That's a cool one. This real, this real big one here. And we got a Black Panther in this bag. And the rest of it's just junk. Holy cow, guys. This little VHS right here is selling for between $16 and $25 on eBay. I'm going to get this one to flip it. Oh, got a Jurassic Park cheap. What year is this from? Uh, 2018. So it's a new one. And here's a Justice League VHS. I've got a Justice League, but I don't know if I have this one. I better get it just to be on the safe side. So we ended up getting busted at Big Texas Thrift, but not for lack of stuff on the shelves. I mean, there was actually some decent things. Those dinosaurs were really cool. The T-Rexes, the Spider-Mans were cool. Even those little uh, like knockoff army vehicles that someone put like G.I. Joe stickers on, you know, those... Those were really cool. I always love it when people do stuff like that. When they take like 
you know, little dollar store things and then turn it into something G.I. Joe. And, you know, just adding the stickers definitely made those things pop a little bit. But I passed on it. I did get the Justice League VHS, but that was it from this store. I think it's time to hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. All right, let's see what they got. All right, let's see if they filled these shelves up at all. And it looks like they haven't. Yeah, there's like nothing here but garbage. This dude's kind of cool, but not something I'm interested in. Look at this, we got a battery operated frog van. Oh, these are kind of cool. Little lunch boxes or something. Oh, look at that, that actually folds. Interesting. Busted again. I could have probably gotten the skateboard, the Tony Hawk skateboard dude, but again, not really feeling it. The uh, the little toolbox with the Coca-Cola stuff, that would have been nice for some of my other Coca-Cola collection stuff, but I don't know, guys. I just want vintage toys today. I want some vintage goodies, and we didn't get them at the Goody Wheel, but maybe, just maybe, we'll find some at Thrift Giant. Let's see what do we got here. It looks like some sort of Barbie. Or a knockoff Barbie. We got Monster High, Frankie Stein on her bike, and some other Barbie stuff. Well, their shelves are definitely stocked up from the last time we're here. We were here, but I don't know if it's gonna have anything we want. This dollhouse is awesome. It's like a little Woodsy's dollhouse. I've actually had this one before, and I bought it for like five bucks and sold it for twenty-five on Facebook Marketplace. Some sort of blaster, maybe a Star Wars blaster? Oh, look at this, United States Marine Corps, ammunition. It's kind of neat. Does this pop open? Oh yeah. Let's see if we lock it back up. There we go. Here's a Sonic. Oh, his leg just came off, <laughs> just broke his leg probably has a remote control that he does not have. Oh, look at that fun lunchbox. And I have no idea what this is. It's something Harry Potter. We got a Fisher Price cash register, but this is a reproduction. All right, now I've never seen a Lego clock of that dude before, ever. He's gotta be worth something. Well, I figured since he was so unique looking, he would be worth something, but he's only selling for like five to $10. And they want $8.99 for him. Hey man, I caught you red handed. Look at this little Grogu ceramic thing. So the Lego alarm clock was pretty cool. We had a Batman lunchbox at this store. We also had some Monster High, which was a little nostalgic for me since Caroline played with Monster High when she was little. Uh, we've sold a bunch of the Monster High, or she has sold them, um, you know, for a little extra kiggity cash in her savings account. At one time, she had like 187 Monster High dolls with all of their accessories, which is pretty incredible because, you know, most of the time you lose that stuff. But Nicole did a really good job of keeping all that stuff together when she was little. So the Monster High was cool, but it just wasn't anything I was feeling. Nothing like I'm, I'm looking to add some stuff to my collection at the moment. Not necessary to flip on eBay unless, you know, it's something really significant and I could get like a hundred bucks out of something I spent five dollars on. So with that being said, we got busted, but that's OK because we got some more thrift stores to hit up. Let's head on over to the Goody Wheel, see what kind of goodies they got. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, the vintage Goodwill gods will be good to me over there. Oh, yeah, baby. We had another Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully my Goodwill hookup's working. Hopefully we can find some vintage toys. And if she is working, I'll get them at a great deal. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we got here. Just a big bag of junk. How about anything here? We got this big 18 inch fin. 
and then we got a Black Panther. And some sort of Nerf football. Ooh, look, this has got pretty colors. It all lights up. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog racetrack game. That looks kind of fun. Well, this thing's selling pretty consistently for 35 bucks with free shipping, which this would probably cost 15 to 20 bucks to ship. They're asking 20 for it. My Goodwill hookup is working. And I'd probably get a better deal on that. I'd probably get it for 10, but I think I'm just gonna pass on it. I gotta say that Sonic racetrack set was pretty awesome. And at 20 bucks, you know, probably a good deal on it. And I kind of regret not picking it up because it looked like it would be a lot of fun. But I just recently sold my Mario Kart racetrack set and I was like, you know, what's the sense in selling something like that and then bringing something like that back into the house that's just gonna sit here for months and months. I'll probably play it once or twice and that would be it. So we're gonna leave it on the shelves and let some Sonic fan drool as he enters the store saying, oh my God, oh my God, Sonic Racetrack, Sonic Racetrack. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna leave that for someone else to uh, create a happy day out of. So in the meantime, let's head on over to Old Thrifty Pants and see what they got on their shelves. All right, let's see, what do we got? got? Some Jurassic Vader with his broken lightsaber. Will I ever find him with his lightsaber intact? That is the big mystery. Look at this Zord. Dang, he's big. What else we got down here? Oh yeah, too bad this guy's missing pieces. Ah, uh, we got this Bigfoot looking dude. Doesn't have his remote control though. Oh, looky looky. It's our boy Buzz. You know, what's this Skylanders piece? Haven't seen this one before. Waterfall Skyland. Oh yeah, I actually have that dude. He's worth a little bit. He's worth like 35, 40 bucks. I got him at the house. Well, this thing's all over the place as far as resale value, anywhere from $5 up to $25. They want $6.99 for it, which is actually a pretty decent price. I'm surprised they're not asking more. Looks like somebody might have dumped their La La Loopsie collection. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't think these dolls are worth a whole lot though. $6.99 each. Oh yeah, there's a ton of these loopsies. Nicole has a bunch of these, but she's got the little tiny ones. And we've got a Mr. Potato Head with a ton of parts. If you're a La La Loopsie fan, you would have been absolutely thrilled to walk into Thrift Giant, old thrifty pants. There was a lot of La La Loopsies on the shelf and there were some other things, again, that we could have potentially scored, but Again, I want vintage toys. I'm ready for some vintage jazz, baby. A little hit of vintage jazz from the 80s or 90s or maybe even the 1970s. So let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. Well, guys, I ain't seeing nothing on these shelves. The only thing I saw is this thing. Not that I want it, but I just thought it was pretty neat. A little cosplay action going on there. Yeah, see there ain't nothing but junk on these shelves. What's this? The Kings. Who's that even supposed to be? Carl's Jr.? I don't... I have no idea. Alright kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Uh, let's see. I picked up a bunch of these games the other day. These were the, all the ones I left behind. Well, this is interesting. What do we have here? Skyrider. Never heard of him. He's kind of neat looking though. I'm not really that interested in him, although he is neat, but he is missing. He's got two antenna and here he only has one, so one of them broke off. So I'll probably just leave him behind. You know, these titles seem interesting. Artificial Intelligence by Steven Spielberg. I've never even heard of that movie. And then we got The Last of the Finest. Oh, look, a Garfield mug. I might have this one already. It's not a pretty life, but someone has to live it. 
Oh yeah, another Garfield glass to add to my collection. Now, I've, I know for the most part, I've kind of sworn off glassware, but when it comes to Garfield or Charlie Brown or Star Wars or things like that, like, I can't resist. I just think, I, I don't know. I just love those characters. I love Garfield. Heathcliff is my number one. I do love he Heathcliff is my first favorite fat cat. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you're a Heathcliff or a Garfield fan. I'd like to know. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only Heathcliff fan on the planet. But anyway, uh, I did pick up uh, these uh, this Garfield glass. So let's do a quick little show and tell. I probably need to clean these glasses up a little bit. You can see I've got doubles of this one here. Here's the one we just picked up at the store. So check that out. It's not a pretty life, but somebody has to live it. And then what does this one say? It says, let's get it in focus here. I'm not, I'm not one who rises to the, to the occasion. I can't even read. I'm not one who rises to the occasion. And then what do we got over here? What does this one say? Use your friends wisely. <laughs> Garfield, he has no shame. But yeah, these are some of the glasses in my collection. I think I got one or two more around here somewhere, but what a fun little collection of Mickey D's glasses. Okay, now that we finally scored something, I feel like the ball is about to get rolling. So let's head on over to the Goody Wheel. Holy cow, our third Goody Wheel of the day, baby. Oh yeah. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? All right, let's have a look-see. Oh wow, look at these tin toys. Those are cool. That's gotta be reproductions though, right? 15, but oh, man, those things are awesome. Might ask to take a closer look at those. Do you, uh, do you know if they're reproductions or if they're original? Uh, one guy bought one and he said it was original. It was an original, uh, okay. Made in Japan. Okay. Let's see, made in China. Man, they are really neat, huh? Yeah. When I was a small, this was kind of the- These are the type the, of toys you had? The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, since all those tin toys are out of my price range and overpriced for that matter, let's see if we can find anything on the shelves. Uh, some sort of Joker mobile. Or, some, you know, a Joker helicopter. With some bowling pins. Unfortunately, there's nothing here. Oh, check out this little fuzzy bear. He's cute. What's oh, this down here? Pound puppy, that looks old. Could it be old? It kind of looks old. Ah, it's from 2007. I knew it wasn't like an original original, but I thought maybe it might have been from the 90s. It's kind of neat, but I'm not going to pick them up. Hey, it's Curious George. It's a buck 21. It's kind of a cute little statue. I love these like fish tank diorama pieces because you could do so much with them. Like I'm already envisioning like my samurai ninja turtles here in this relic, this like Japanese relic. That is really cool. What do they want for that? Is there a price on it? Uh, I don't see a price. Hmm. I wonder if I should get it. Again, those wind up toys are just so overpriced. They're not worth that much. And, uh, you know, maybe, just maybe they'll come down in price once Goodwill kind of figures out that they're not going to sell at that price. So, but I did pick up this really cool diorama that I think I can use with my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Check it out.
Doesn't that look awesome? It looks so good. So here are some of my samurai turtles. And uh, this was the yesterday when I got that big box of toys from Thrift Giant, the one we rummaged through on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, you know, it had this chrome dome in it, which thank you guys for pointing that out. I had thought maybe it was like some sort of shredder, but it turns out it's this guy named Chrome Dome. This was actually in the box. So this was in the box and I mentioned, and this horse was in here too, and I mentioned that I had one that was a black horse with like red armor, but, and someone had told me that maybe that they thought it was like a reproduction of the vintage toys. I have no idea. So you guys can let me know, is this horse a reproduction? Like, is this one that was made maybe like in the last 10 years versus being from like the nineties? So, but this little diorama set, it actually is supposed to go inside of a fish tank, I believe. It does have a broken piece up here, but that's okay. But it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Like I'm really stoked to have picked this thing up. And uh, all of these figures here, by the way, every single one of them that you see on display here were actually found in a thrift store. How awesome is that? I'm telling you guys, thrifting is where it's at. I am so happy that I picked that thing up. That thing is awesome and it looks so good with the turtles. Now I just gotta find a place where I can display it all. All right, guys, we got one more store to hit up. We're gonna head over to Thrift Giant. It's on my way home, so hopefully we can finish strong. Got here we got an Obi-Wan, but he doesn't have a sword. He's a Captain America. Does he have paint wear on his nose? Yes, he does. Why is that every Captain America has paint wear? Oh, what do we got over here? We got a Power Ranger. What do we want for that? Nine bucks. Yeah, I'll probably pass on that. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should look it up first. Maybe it's worth something. What year was this made? 2020. Man, it's probably not worth nothing. Well, she's actually selling for anywhere between 15 and $35, but... This box is kind of banged up, and the boxes I saw with her on eBay were in much, much better shape. So I'm just going to leave her here for some Power Rangers collector. All right, well, what's this down here? I got a big old Spider Man. Holy cow. This thing is awesome. 10 bucks here. Yeah, I got to grab that, man. That is freaking sweet. He's got so much articulation. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, we got some 1980s, definitely dinosaurs. $3.99, all right, I'll grab that one. Got some vintage 80s toys in the house, baby. He's on that jazz, man, he's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man, he's on that jazz. Oh, another definitely dinosaur hawk. It's the T-Rex. Oh, I gotta get him, this'll make my third one. I bought one on eBay, found one in the store, in a thrift store, and now I got this one in a thrift store. I also have found this one in a thrift store before as well. Oh look, it's another definitely dinosaur. Oh, check out this old fire pump. Waterloo boy. It went 13 bucks for it, but it's pretty cool. It's made out of die calf. Check it out, somebody packed some turtles inside this little van. Oh yeah, there's like one, two, there's like three or four turtles in there. Yeah, it's kind of a neat looking Optimus Prime. Oh, we got Thor. We got some trash cans over here too. Star Wars trash cans. Hulk smash. We did it. We did it, guys. We finished strong. I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it because what we think about is what we bring about. I got some 1980s, definitely dinosaurs. So we scored some vintage toys and oh my God, this Spider-Man is absolutely amazing. Let's do a little show and tell. Here they are, and they look so good. I absolutely love this line. I have a pretty decent sized collection, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But everything that you see here and everything you're about to see in my full collection of these guys was found in a thrift store. So these little guys right here, I didn't find these today. They are part of uh, some figures that I found at Craptastic Sam's a little while back, but these are called Cavesters. 
and each dinosaur kind of came with their little caster. So I've got a handful of these guys. I'd like to actually get some more. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Like I've probably a couple of a couple of a dozen different types of cavesters. But oh my gosh, isn't this line awesome? I mean, like look at the details that went into creating this T-Rex. Look at, I mean, each individual scale was carved with some sort of tool. It's just, I mean, it's really a great quality they're great quality figures too i mean they're they're like they're heavy uh there's they've got some weight to them you can tell the plastic isn't cheap they're not going to break very easily the only thing the only problem with these is that the joints uh in some of these dinosaurs like, like his is actually pretty stiff but some of these joints like in their neck and their arms and their legs and stuff they tend to get a little loose so i can't really put his head up it'll just fall back down I could always probably shove like a little piece of paper in there to kind of like hold it in place if I wanted to. But I think these things are amazing. Let me show you the rest of my collection. Now you guys have probably seen these in the background of my videos when I'm here filming in the bunker, but these are my Definitely Dinosaur collection. And every single one of these were found in a thrift store. How freaking cool is that i've got some other things mixed in, in in here too like the baby sinclair dino here in the back and speaking of sinclair see that green triceratops that plastic one and then the blue duckbill guy in the background and then if we come all the way back over here i've got this t-rex and then also this guy I found those at St. Vinny de Paul, and they're actually part of the Sinclair Oil Company mascots. That T-Rex alone is worth about 70 bucks, and I picked them all up for like $3 a little while back. The Brontosaurus in the middle, I found him at Thrift Giant, but unfortunately, his neck is like super loose. So I did have a piece of paper shoved in there to like, you know, kind of keep it propped up, but it fell out a little while ago. I probably need to put something back in there because it looks a little better when it's up than when it's down. That's what she said. So <laughs> anyway, that is my Definitely Dinosaur collection. And I love this line and definitely am excited to add some more to it as we go along. Maybe I'll find some more uh, some more dinos and some more cavesters in thrift stores. Yeah, I love it. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, the 64 points of articulation, extra large, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Would you look at this behemoth? Oh my God, this thing is awesome. This thing is so freaking awesome. Check this out, like look at his fingers. Each one of his fingers has joints in it, has like knuckle joints. So you can bend those fingers any way you want. Man, this guy is awesome. He bends at the waist. Even his feet have joints in it. Like, you know, he's got like a joint at the back and like a joint right there and another joint. Like I said, all in all, 64 points of articulation. Oh my gosh, he's gonna look so good with the rest of my Spider-Man collection. Very, very exciting and really good shape too. I mean, he's pretty stiff overall. His head is a little loose. That's the only thing that was really loose on him is that this head, like it swivels really, really easy. I don't wanna knock him over. He'd make a mess, you know. Look at all these little guys in the back. If he fell over backwards, he would destroy all of them. But wow, guys, was not expecting this today. So when I saw him on the shelf, it definitely sent me into jazz hyperdrive. <laughs> but wow, how cool is he? Another successful five thrift store Friday. Like I said, it's the happiest day of the week. Hey, if you guys like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and check out this next video. I know you're going to love it.